welcome back to Science and Spirituality. At the Center for Brain, Consciousness and Cognition at the Maharishi University of Management in Iowa, USA, scientists are exploring how the brain develops over one's lifespan and how meditation practice affects this vital organ. Dr. Fred Travis is the director of the center. As we saw in the last segment, Maharishi University student Tor Travis's brainwaves appeared different when he was doing a simple task versus meditating. We asked Dr. Travis about the nature of brain activity during meditation and whether it is more active at this time. It's not quantity, it's quality. So it's not that suddenly your brain is using more resources and is more active than ever before. Rather, what you see is the quality of functioning. That is, the activity in one part of the brain is now integrated, is coherent with activity in another part of the brain. You see a greater integration of brain functioning. And when we have an integration of brain functioning, it means an integration also of psychological functioning, how you think. Dr. Travis says the merging of activity from different regions of the brain that occurs during meditation then in turn influences our normal conscious state. What happens as you practice the TM program is you begin to have broad angle focus. This is what I mean by integration of two styles of functioning. You have a problem and rather than being lost in the problem and not being able to see the solution, you still have that, that broader playful awareness, which is where the field of solutions is. Um, a lot of uh, recent research on creativity and how you um, solve problems with intuition, what they find is diffuse alpha activity over the whole brain during the minutes before you come up with that idea. And what you're seeing is suddenly all parts of the brain are beginning to communicate. It's not the logical linear thought of the frontal rational area, but it's actually all parts of the brain, playful, concrete, emotion, they can all be part of the, of the problem solving. And that's where the creative uh, insight comes. And this is what we see with TM practice. Dr. Travis also discussed the fight or flight response, which is an automatic reaction of the autonomic nervous system, specifically the sympathetic nervous system, to a perceived danger and its relation to meditation. When such a response is set off, the body releases hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, which influence such bodily functions such as heart rate and digestion and gives a boost of energy in order for the individual to take action. In modern day settings, this type of response by the sympathetic nervous system is likely due to stress experienced in our lives. While useful in situations where we must take quick action to protect ourselves or others, having our body respond this way to something routine like stress is not beneficial for our health. Dr. Travis says meditation can change the setting off of the reaction because among other things, the brain has been changed by meditation practice. We tend to get into activity and the sympathetic, the fight or flight response gets more and more active. We find when we practice TM and the mind settles down to the source of thought, the physiology, the body is also settling down. It's almost as if resetting where its natural resting point is. We find that the level of fight or flight, the sympathetic activation, it goes down during meditation and it starts to go lower and lower in activity afterwards. We find stress-related diseases disappear, for instance, hypertension which is chronic, that means you have to take a pill to, to keep it under control. We find that adding TM practice actually reduces hypertension, just because the whole mind, the whole body is settling down. We can understand the body as having its own intelligence. The body is really composed of many feedback loops. And what disease is, is when one of these feedback loops are disrupted. And by settling the mind down, this inner intelligence of the body is enlivened. And so we find the body, the immune system is stronger, uh, we're healthier. 
to close with the scientific work of dedicated researchers like Dr. Travis, the world is seeing how important meditation is to constructively shaping our brain's development. Research data is showing that by meditating, our brain benefits, and in return, we enjoy a more peaceful life, we have the enhanced ability to reach our true potential, and we are better able to achieve optimum health. Our sincere appreciation goes to Dr. Fred Travis at the Center for Brain, Consciousness and Cognition at Maharishi University of Management in Iowa, USA for sharing his time and knowledge on the subject of the effects of meditation on the brain. Thank you, intelligent viewers, for joining us for today's show. Please stay with us for Words of Wisdom, coming up next after Noteworthy News on Supreme Master Television. May peace and good health be upon you and your family. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.